Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScope channel. Have you heard about field parameters? Well, it's a Power BI feature that lets you dynamically change the measures or the dimensions that you want to analyze. For instance, you can have a sales report analyzed by a number of dimensions. For instance, you have a sales measure analyzed by product or manufacturer. Or even you can have a dimension analyzed by a number of measures. For instance, product analyzed by sales amount or a sales percentage. Or you can even do both and let your end user choose between dimensions or measures that he wants to analyze at runtime. But what if we want, we want to create a parameter that can dynamically change his dimension reference, like a cumulative total? Is this possible? Well, in this video, we'll show you on how you can do that. So in this example, we'll use this sales report. And our main goal will be to create a bar chart that will analyze our cumulative total based on two dimensions, which will be product and manufacturer. And we are already have here our sales table, which has a sales amount measure. So the first thing will be to create a field parameter for our dimensions. For that, we'll go to modeling new parameter and we choose fields we give it a name we'll call it dimension and we choose the dimensions that we want to analyze which will be manufacturer and product category we'll leave this box checked because this will add a slicer to our page which will be useful later so we can filter our dim dimension we click on create And now you can see that Power BI gets us here a slicer and also a new table called dimension that has the dimension is itself, the dimension field and the dimension order. This field will be useful later because we'll use it as an ID to filter our field parameter. So now we already have here our sales amount and I already have here the sales cumulative total measure. I'm not going to go too deep on how we can uh, calculate this measure, but uh, the main thing we need to know is that this summarizes the, um, the table sales based on product category and summarizes it by sales amount. So if we want to see this measure, we can put it in a bar chart. So sales cumulative total by product category. And now, so we can put it in the table. So product category, and we put the sales cumulative total. We are also going to put the sales amount, so we can see how sales cumulative total develops. So basically, the sales cumulative total in the first row will be the sales amount itself and then accumulates the next value and the next value for sales amount and so on and so forth. Now, what we want to achieve is to have a dynamic dimension. So we want to be able to switch between category and manufacturer and the sales cumulative total be calculated. So what we can do is to change our sales cumulative total measure. So now we can do is to put here a switch statement and the expression will be the max for our dimension order, which will be the ID we are testing to know which dimension we are selecting. So if the value of dimension order is zero, we want to have this first expression calculated that summarizes the sales table by product category. And if the value is 1, we want to have the same measure, but we'll have it analyzed instead of product category. We'll have it by manufacturer, manufacturer. 
right now we'll close our switch statement so now we can change our table and switch between category and our dimension and do the same thing on the bar chart And now, if we switch between manufacturer and category, you can see that both our table and the bar chart switch the dimension of our sales cumulative total. So, uh, one useful analysis that we can do with this is create a Pareto chart and switch dimension. What we need to do is to calculate a percentage cumulative total and this is pretty easy as we already have our sales cumulative total calculated. We just need to divide this measure by all the sales amount and now if we put this measure in a bar chart but put it in a line and we'll order it ascending and now we can switch the dimension between category and manufacturer and we have a Pareto chart that can dynamically change its dimension so that is all for today don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos as we explore Power BI together